So this has actually not been a good morning at all. Like I messed up big time and you're probably thinking, why are you broadcasting this mess up? You're really about to tell me about it? Yes. Yes, I am because everyone messes up. No one talks about it. It kind of irritates me. I feel like, I just feel like everyone needs to be real with it. Life is not perfect. TV news, not gonna be perfect. This morning, if you tune into our broadcast, you know. It wasn't perfect and it's all my fault. So I woke up this morning and I saw, I looked at the rundown, which basically just shows the stories for the day. And I saw, oh, I'm on a fire. Didn't know what the fire was, had no information about it. Obviously that wasn't my original story. It was just a breaking news thing. So there ended up being a fire about 45 minutes away from my house, got ready real fast, got out there. And by the time I arrived, uh, they actually had put out the fire. This morning we are live in Brown County where firefighters just knocked out a fire about a half hour ago. The good news is everyone's okay. Everyone is safe, but the damage has been done as you can see. See, this is a detached garage. Another bit of good news. This isn't the actual home. The fire did not spread to the home that this family lives in, but everything you see right here is destroyed. I was interviewing the homeowners all morning and everything was going dandy until my six o'clock hit. Really, I guess I should back up a bit because the problems began days ago. It began when uh, we have this IFB. It allows us to hear the show. It's what you have in your ear, but our IFBs need, you know those like lightning cable things that allow you to connect to the new iPhones, which the new iPhones drive me crazy that suddenly we don't have like the normal headphone jacks. It drives me crazy. So I have lost my lightning cable. It's actually on its way, you know, Amazon primed it, but I didn't have it today. And I decided to try to use my AirPods, which were working fine. I was having a little bit of like staticky issues. We were out in the country. That's where this live shot was. That's where the fire was, but it was fine. I was hearing the show. I was getting my cues and then six o'clock rolled around. I hear my producer, he says, hey Clancy, but we're like five minutes away. And I'm like, okay, cool, awesome. I'm ready, like I'm here, I have the homeowner, we're about to go live. And then I hear nothing, which is normal when you're in a commercial break, you don't hear anything, it's just nothing. When we go back into the show, I could hear the anchors, I could hear everyone, but commercial breaks, nothing. I'm just standing there talking to the homeowners and then all of a sudden, the next thing I know, I hear, Clancy, can you hear me? And I'm like, yeah, I, I've, I've been able to hear you. Well, well, what's up? Then my producer says, you just missed your hit and we took you. And that, it's happened to me before. That is like the worst feeling ever because you're like, oh my gosh, I was just on live TV, have no idea what I was saying, have no idea what I was doing. I look like an idiot. I'm not doing my job, clearly. It is genuinely the worst feeling in the entire world. I mean, not in the entire world, but you know what I mean? It's a really bad feeling. Basically, I guess my AirPod, it just stopped working. It just, there's no other way to, to get around, it just stopped working. And so I'm gonna put it in here, I'm gonna include this. When the anchor tossed me and everyone at home, thousands of people are expecting a live broadcast on a breaking news event, this instead is what they saw. Adam Clements live in the remote breaking news center where we are following the latest with a fire in Brown County. Local 12's Clancy Burke is on the scene. She joins us live now. And Clancy, I just retweeted some of the images that you posted on Twitter of the damage. Pretty remarkable stuff there. Expensive one. He did income tax. He ran the Christian bookstore Sunday. We were having some audio problems. Uh, she was listening to the person who she's going to interview. Right. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm John Mo. I feel absolutely terrible. I feel terrible to my producers. I feel terrible to my boss. A lot of you guys ask when these things happen, do you get in trouble for it? And it's like, no. I'd get in trouble if I like, I don't know, was cursing on air or doing something like, uh, just, you know, like that. But this, trust me, they are not happy. I, I was getting texts, of course, from my boss just being like, what the heck happened? Like what, why, why did that just happen? And I just explained, like, I don't know. I, 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 my IFB was in one second and the next I just didn't hear the show and I just didn't know they were tossing to me. It's just one of those things that I guess happens and you live from it, you learn from it. I looked like an idiot just standing there, but I'm very grateful. I wasn't, I don't know, like laughing or something like that because, well, you guys have to understand, this is a tragic situation. This guy has lost probably well over $100,000. The amount of things that were in that garage, I mean, his car that he drives every day, an old truck, a camper, a trailer, a pontoon boat, is a lot, it's tragic. But when we're just talking to each other, we're laughing. Every person will take a tragic situation differently. It'd be a lot different if someone lost their lives, but this is still tragic. I mean, he lost a lot of things. This guy, he handles it by joking around. He handles it by laughing, smiling. And I, I know that might sound odd for, for those of you who don't handle things that way, but that's how he handles it. And I kind of relate to that. That's how I handle a lot of things too. So I'm, I match his mood. Like I match my interviewee's mood. If they're gonna make a joke about something, I'm gonna laugh at it. You know what I mean? What would have happened if 
the anchor tossed me and I was laughing. I mean, that just would have looked so bad. It probably, I guess people would have understood if I'm laughing with the person who this happened to. It's like, we're together. But still, if you just saw me on the camera and you see me laughing, that would look terrible. And that's where things get really, really scary when it comes to live TV news of just the amount of things that can go wrong. And actually, the other day I was on a breaking news scene and the sheriff would not go on camera, which mostly the sheriff always goes on camera. That's like the person who goes on camera. And he said the reason is because he got burned. I don't know how long ago, but there was a reporter who was doing a Facebook Live when he didn't know they were live. We all obviously have our cameras pointed at him when we're doing taped interviews. That's pretty much all the sheriff does, taped interviews, and then we edit it and just take a clip of it. And when we're, we're, when we're talking to like the sheriff or anyone off camera, we're speaking in a much more laid back way. I don't know exactly what he ended up saying, but it just didn't look good. It's just not what he would have wanted to air, which if we're going back to the station and editing it, no big deal, we're not gonna air that. It might be him letting out a laugh or just something that just would have looked weird out of context. This reporter was on a Facebook Live and all of it was broadcast to thousands of people. That's one of the first things that actually I'm grateful for. One of the anchors at my old station told me, if you are doing anything live, always let the person know. Always, because they don't know unless you tell them. So I'm very, very grateful that I didn't have to make that mistake ever. And someone just told me, but I mean, I feel for that guy that he, he must have gotten in trouble probably at work. People in the community were probably angry. I don't know the circumstances. I don't know exactly what he said or did, but I get how that can happen. Just like how it could have happened where they took they took me, I was on TV, and what if I was laughing this morning? So I'm, I'm grateful I wasn't, but still, it's just definitely not good. And the only thing you can do is live, you learn, and you learn from those lessons. And that's the thing, I'm the type of person, I truly make it a point to learn from every single lesson. Whenever I mess up, whenever I make a mistake, my first thing is, what could I have done differently? And when this mess up happened this morning, and I said, what could I have done differently to myself? The answer was, gosh, nothing. I was dialed into the IFB. I was hearing that it was just technology that failed, truly. I own up to all the mistakes I've made. I have made mistakes, but this, I was dialed, how could I have known that it just would stop working? I couldn't have. And by the way, it's not that the call dropped because that's happened before. I was dialed in still. It just, there just was no audio in my ear. And I can't explain why there wasn't audio one minute and there was the next because I heard him in my ear all of a sudden going, can you hear me? So yeah, I'm just gonna let this one go. Let it go, you know, let it go. This is what you do when you have the best boyfriend in the entire world. Zach's favorite thing ever, cinnamon rolls. I expected that to spin more. That was really anticlimactic. I decided to stop at a local bakery and pick him up one because he is just the best. Caught. <laughs> do you want to know what you're caught, caught doing? What's the answer? What's that? <laughs> What's that? I'm curious. You're tell me. Being the best boyfriend ever. Oh, wow. I heard you on the phone. Tell everyone what happened. My office is going around the virtual meeting room and saying what you're thankful for. And I said I was thankful to be spending more time with my lovely girlfriend because... You didn't say lovely, though. I'm pretty sure I said something like that. I didn't hear the beginning. All I heard was girlfriend, and I'm like, oh, girlfriend. Because we work different schedules, so we get to spend more time together now. That was so nice. And actually tell them the two other things. And then I said thankful for my grandparents to have relatively decent health right now, but they've been in and out of the hospital during quarantine, so... And that was so sweet. And they're both out. My grandma's in assisted living, but... Uh, she's Do you know how long hospital. she's going to have to be there for? I said at least, I think... Two weeks or something. I don't oh, know. wow. And then I said thankful that I was able to buy a bike yesterday. <laughs> so I can exercise. Road bikes are expensive. I don't use the word like investment because like it's not really an investment, but it's something that's going to like be worthwhile. Like, so it's like if I just went yeah. and bought a used road bike that was the lower level one. I'm probably going to either want a new one or outgrow it or it's not going to last as long. And I agree with that. That's the same exact thing I had when I bought a car. I ended up going for a new car because I was like, this will last me. Where did you get this? Holtman's. Oh, did you go there? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it good? good? It is good. We've got two laptops going. I started importing some stuff from this vlog. And then on this laptop, this is actually where I really am working on my story for later. Some of this stuff from this morning. Definitely need our tea today for some energy. <laughs> Update. He doesn't love me. <laughs> Jack's eating his donut. I'm like living my life. Loving like the sounds of his little chewing. So I'm like, huh, yes, my boyfriend's like happy and satisfied. <laughs> I'm only as happy as Zach is. And then I hear a plop in the garbage. Let's see how much he didn't eat. He said it was only a crumb. <laughs> oh, okay. It's Take it. <laughs> get it. <laughs> that much of the whole okay. thing. Okay. 
You're good. Hey guys, I'm loading up the DVR to show Zach my mess up. He has no idea what happened. You're about to be very embarrassed of your girlfriend right now. Well, are you ready to tell the story? But are you ready to see it? I feel like once you see it, you honestly might break up with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can't see my face right now, but it's just a glare. No, I would never want to break up with you over a news blunder. <laughs> Imagine. It would take more than that. <laughs> and it would take a lot based on the love you have. It would. I'm not saying it's impossible that you can do something out there. Yeah, wait, I can cheat. I'm not saying there isn't something. No. I had a nightmare last night that Justin Bieber tried to cheat on Haley Baldwin with me. And I was like, Justin. And then I called the police, which made no sense. And then I woke up and I was, did you know I was sweating last night? Like, did you tell? Why not Justin Bieber, though? Ew, I, I, and I've told you so many times, no offense. I don't find him attractive. I'm just not attracted to him. It's really <laughs> bad. Oh, you're gonna hate me. Adam Clements live in the remote breaking news <laughs> really center where we're following the latest with a fire in Brown <laughs> County. Local 12's Clancy <laughs> Burke so is on the scene. She joins us live now. And Clancy, I just retweeted some of the images <laughs> that you posted on Twitter of the damage. <laughs> Pretty remarkable stuff there. Take it off me. Why would they not take it off you faster? Oh my gosh. You know what it was though? And I understand why they didn't. They're not ready in the studio. They're, they're not in their spots because so they we think, just oh. Go to someone else not ready. So it's like, exactly. We would just, you know, screw over someone else. So I, t I totally get that, but oh, man. that was bad, it's wasn't it? Chilling. I mean, it wasn't bad, but I mean. It's I not, look like an idiot. Well, yes, it's obviously a little embarrassing, but that wasn't that bad. Okay, you made me feel better, but I obviously It was just funny when you were looking <laughs> off to. Oh my God, it looks like I'm trying to like, I don't even know, like. It's like, what's over there? <laughs> in the distance. <laughs> All right, still love me? I do. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Just gotta check in. All right, so an update. I finished writing my package for the noon, and now I have to track it, meaning I need to do the voiceover, but this is where things get a little weird. So in order for you not to have like the echoey sound, you need to kind of be like under like a blanket or something when you're doing this from home. So I need to go under this blanket with this little mic thing I have. I had this from, actually, do you guys remember old school like beauty YouTube videos? This is... Hello. Do you remember old school beauty YouTube videos when people used to like do voiceovers of makeup tutorials? Cause I, a lot of you guys don't know this. I, I was an OG beauty YouTuber who really should not have been. Mm, really bad times. Now for the lips, you gotta go with a classic red lip. I mean, if you don't, okay, yeah, not a same. Anyway, I need to track this cause it's for the noon and we gotta get this in, in time. So there's a learning curve because Zach has these special shoes. So these are obviously the clip-in shoes that I've never really used. <sighs> And he's riding. Oh, I feel like I'm like teaching you to ride a first bike. He's doing it. He's doing it. And I'm not even holding on. Okay, guys, this is how we're feeling right now. We just need a little reset. So we're taking a nap as we always do. And we're going to wake up and forget that everything happened today. It's okay. It's going to be a new dawn, a new day. So, and meanwhile, what are you doing, Zach? I'm going to go take the bike out for the first time. He's taking the bike out. I hope I don't fall. But thank you guys for tuning in. Moral of the story, everyone makes mistakes. Good night.